a bad spring. Bag your arm. What, what hurts on you, buddy? Back. Back one, one, three, back. Gotta love it. You got a is there anybody else over by you, sir? To your left? You know, the scenario is essentially a, a couple of hot air balloons carrying anywhere from 10 to 20 people uh, got tangled in the air. And uh, due to the direction of the wind, they were just kind of drug along the side of this ridge, uh, sort of depositing people as it went. And the level of injury just is dictated by the results of whatever happened to that person when they came out of the basket. We have essentially, you know, established uh, three rescue task forces um, that are being supervised by one rescue group supervisor, and they have been uh, spread along this ridge in the in in divisions. Each task force has been, has been assigned to basically a division location, and uh, essentially what they're they're goals were, their uh, incident objectives were basically to go and triage the patients, uh, come up with a plan to figure out how to extricate the patients, and then uh, and basically do it the easiest way and the safest way possible. So, you know, in a mass casualty incident like this, uh, you know, it's to triage, uh, extricate, treat, and transport. You never know out here. You know, it's just... You'll be walking along, you twist your ankle, and then you're just stuck. And then you're, you think to yourself, well, now what? You know, we're doing a mock rescue, and, you know, you're supposed to, you know, have a broken leg or a C-spine type thing or, you know, a collar problem or, you know, anything where they have to carry you out. I mean, the last time I did it, they had to lift me up out of a vertical cliff about 75 feet. 